YouTube, thanks for tuning in. It's Hoverboard FAQ here. Today we're going to be talking about hoverboard batteries, and I got three different batteries in front of in front of here to uh, to show you. Um, first things first, uh, hoverboardscooterparts.com sponsored this video. Uh, they sent me a bunch of free parts. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Basically, I want to go through one by one pretty much every single part contained within a hoverboard, and I want to explain what the part does, how it interacts with other parts, and how it functions. Um, and I've made a couple about motherboards, gyroscopes, both male and female. I recently made a video that you might find helpful about the difference between female and male uh, hoverboard gyroscopes. In this video, we're going to be talking about batteries. So, um, again, I got these batteries from hoverboardscooterparts.com. Feel free to check them out if you need a new battery. Um, I actually cut these ones open. Um, they, uh, they said they had Samsung batteries, so I wanted to verify it, so I, I cut it open. The color of the wrap on the battery doesn't mean anything. I mean, this is literally just a plastic wrap. It's what's inside that matters. Most people probably never open up the batteries to actually check them out. Uh, but I did open these up. The cells contained within these are the purple Samsung batteries. So these are official Samsung batteries. Uh, let me clear up one other thing about the whole Samsung LG, since everyone always wants those. There is no such thing as a Samsung or LG hoverboard battery. What there is, however, is batteries that are assembled in factories in China where they use the Samsung cells. Now, I would say probably 80% of or more of you who think you have a Samsung battery really don't have Samsung cells in your batteries. Uh, most people lie. Uh, I've had factories and things like that admit to me, yeah, we, yeah, we put Samsung labels on them, but they're just generic batteries. Um, there's very few real Samsung batteries out there, so you know, be cautious who you buy from. Uh, like I said, I did open these up, and I wanted to verify two things. I wanted to verify one, that uh, it's real Samsung cells in here. They are the purple Samsung cells. And two, I wanted to verify that the batteries, battery is properly wired. Um, go to my channel, search uh, hoverboard battery, and you'll see I have a couple videos where I actually have batteries cracked open and I show you what a properly wired hoverboard battery is versus an improperly wired. Basically there's, is it 20 cells in here? I believe it's 20 cells. Um, on some of these boards you're gonna see like all 20 cells in the battery are all wired together. And that, that's unhealthy for the battery because they're all charged as one and they're not individually monitored. So if, for example, one cell went bad, it's gonna overcharge other cells to compensate for the one cell that's either undercharged or not charging at all. That's not only unhealthy for the longevity of the battery, but it's also a fire hazard. Um, so I also wanted to verify that these battery cells are not all wired together. Some of them are wired all together. Some of them are wired in like blocks of four. These batteries, I'll try to edit in a picture later, but if, if, if I were to open up this, open this, I duct tape to back up, but, or electrical tape to back up, but if you were to open this battery, you would see there's a wire leading to every cell. So that means every battery cell is individually charged and monitored. Um, as far as the stickers on, uh, <clears throat> on hoverboards, uh, the stickers don't really mean much. Um, they slap all types of stickers on it. If you have Samsung on your, a Samsung sticker on your board, it's a counterfeit Samsung battery. Customs will not allow batteries to come in with the name Samsung because Samsung does not make these batteries. Now it's okay to say the battery is, con is assembled with Samsung cells, but it's not okay to call this a Samsung battery because Samsung did not assemble this. Uh, like I said, some factories in China will buy Samsung cells, and there's also a motherboard attached to this battery that kind of monitors the charging and things like that. And on a quality battery, that uh, motherboard is also a Samsung. So the best quality battery is going to be Samsung cells with a Samsung motherboard, but this whole thing as a whole is not made by Samsung. Um, this is a connection. This is how it connects to your board. Uh, one thing I want to mention, if you guys ever have problems with your board, kind of the first thing to do is to try to calibrate it. If that doesn't fix it, sort of like a cell phone, you know how sometimes you take your battery out of your cell phone and it resets things? That's uh, a kind of a common way to uh, to fix boards as well. Sometimes it just resets whatever's wrong. But uh, we got a motherboard here. Um, let's see here. And I'll show you how easily the battery connects to the motherboard. So you got these two connections that match up. Obviously, you just connect them and you're good. So. Uh, that's how the battery connects to the motherboard. A lot of people are like really scared to tinker with their hoverboards at all. I mean, really, these things are pretty simple devices. Uh, if you play around with it, you'll figure out how they work. But these are batteries. Um, if you want to buy these batteries, you can buy them at hoverboardscooterparts.com. Like I said, they gave me these batteries to uh, 
to do this review. If you guys have any questions about batteries, if the battery in your board is safe, anything else, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, just below there to the bottom left, there should be a subscribe button. If you click that button, you'll get notifications of all my upcoming videos. And I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos this week and next week. Uh, like I said, I'm going one by one through all the hoverboard parts, explaining what they are, how they interact with other pieces, what they do, how they control the board, etc. So uh, I think I've done some on gyroscopes, some other boards, shells, charging ports. Uh, today we're doing batteries, and i got a few more videos coming out too. If there's any topics that you guys want to specifically know about or how to do a certain repair, again, leave it in the comment section below, or you can shoot me an email at hoverboardfaq at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to make a video addressing your question for you and others. So um, if you're a hoverboard seller, business, whatever, and you want me to feature your products on my channel, uh, feel free to either contact me through YouTube or drop me an email at hoverboardfaq.com. Let me know what your product you want me to feature is, and uh, you know, give me my address. Happy to send it in, and we'll feature it on the channel and make a video about it. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, check you out in the next video. Later.